Hey everyone, uh, you guys know who this is. This is uh, Ernie Sigala. Um, usually I don't do these type of things. Uh, you guys know I'm, I'm a pretty busy guy. I'm really not online much. But, and you guys know that I'm a, I'm a positive guy. I don't like to talk about anybody. I don't like to, um, you know, put comments, negative comments anywhere. I just I I'm, I just don't believe in that, you know. I believe you should move forward and, and better your life. But at but today, right now, what I'm doing, I, I think it's necessary because of what's 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 happened to me. Um, and I'm gonna talk about one person in in specific, um, just to give you an idea um, of what, what I did to this person. Um, I gave I gave him everything. What I mean by everything, you're talking about. I gave him twenty two thousand dollars plus of uh, product, uh, labor, hard work, uh, and you do this as a sponsorship to get uh, an ROI, which is a return on investment. And what I get is no return on investment. And I and it becomes a negative, and I'm gonna to explain to you why it becomes a negative. But I want you guys to listen to what he has to say about me. I didn't even like it because I thought it was fake. This person is all about himself. This person is all about getting the product and and not doing what he's supposed to. And you're gonna find out. I want you guys to really look at who's going to be commenting here. I want this uh, to go everywhere. So I'm going to show you. I'm, I want you guys to watch very carefully what I did for him. And you tell me at the end of this video if I deserve what I deserve from this person. You do that. shift uh, Sigala shirt on here because I ran out of all the ones that we have embroidered. Uh, we're wearing them. Uh, Sigala. Know that name. Uh, we're wearing the majority of our uh, shirts all week long um, while we were in California and of course at the uh, West Coast Invasion. Uh, again, like I said, I was going to get back to that, but I wanted to talk to, to everyone out there. Um, about a gentleman that you should know by now, especially if you've been following Project Cars, by the name of Ernie Sigala. Uh, Ernie owns HCM Carbon. Er Ernie is the designer of the, of the uh, Sigala Mustangs and the Sigala uh, Camaros. And uh, what, what a lot of people don't know is some of the behind the scenes uh, 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 dealings, works, whatever you want to call it, uh, relationships. Uh, uh, that uh, that are between Project Cars and, and Sigala. Uh, Ernie himself, uh, you know, first and foremost, there was, there was over our, uh, hundreds of Mustangs at SEMA last year, and, and he picked uh, our Mustang to sponsor, fully sponsor, with a litany of, of different products, everything from a hood to a trunk, the whole uh, carbon fiber body kit. He did uh, the mirrors, I mean, and he even, you know, Two weeks before SEMA, he decides he wants to do a carbon fiber roof and, and, and did a carbon fiber roof uh, for the vehicle. So thousands of dollars worth of product uh, from uh, Ernie Sigala to, for the Mustang. And, and we had just really met him uh, over um, telephonic conversations and emails and back and forth uh, two months prior uh, to the, the full sponsorship agreement. And... and uh, with all that, with all he gave to the Mustang, he still gives. It goes above and beyond. Uh, things that I would never really ask somebody, let alone a sponsor, to do, he agrees to do it. Uh, we had a, a big event here in Fort Bliss, August 30th, uh, Ready, Set, Go. Some of you guys attended if you're in the area. A lot of you have seen the videos, I, I know, because there's over 60,000 views on the drifting done by Ernie Sigala. 
already said that he was going to come support my show. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. You know, they're going to fly in and, and check out the show and, and talk to people. No. He drove his chameleon Sagala Mustang from San Diego to El Paso and then drifted it in the drift demo for the whole event. Put kids in the back seat and drifted it. You know, he... he he, he drifted my vehicle too and another red Mustang um, and then went back home and I'm like scratching my head going holy crap this is a sponsor that gave me thousands of dollars and yet he comes and supports my car show or our car show for Project Cars here on Fort Bliss 900 miles away mind you so we pick up the Mustang last week for West Coast Invasions and He's already given thousands of dollars of the product, and then he turns around and uh, fixes a, a crack in the front uh, in the front uh, aerodynamics uh, caused by us, and then does carbon fiber inside the interior. The, the whole interior is carbon fiber, the, the dash dashboard, and then my steering wheel is carbon fiber. I didn't get to appreciate the steering wheel until I actually was awake driving yesterday maybe like around 12 i've been in like a zombie mode from majority of last week uh i just want to say thank you very much Rudy sagala you have proven time and time and time again uh of your support your friendship uh your honesty your candor um and and i i hope we can return the favor and, and hope that uh the roi that we provide your company companies uh is 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 equal to all the support you've you've given us and all the support you plan on giving us and oh by the way um ernie let me borrow the hot wheels wide body camaro so we can display it in the southwest yeah i'm driving around fort bliss with a fully modified supercharged wide body Camaro that doesn't belong to me. It's part of the Sigala car collection because if you've been to his driver, you know what I'm talking about. He... Anyways, thank you very much, Ernie. Uh, people, <laughs> wow, I'm just, I'm still floored at all the stuff that you do for us and, and we're very, very appreciative. Uh, looking forward to future projects. SEMA is going to be huge again, even bigger with all the bills that, that uh, Project Cars and Sagala will be working on. Um, next thing you want to talk about is uh, the car. Okay, beat. now we're back and I'm here with my wife, Wendy. I think she deserves to be here as well and, and talk about this person. You know the the person we're talking about obviously is is uh, Carlos Molina with Project Cars. Um, you, you guys heard it yourselves. Uh, I went above and beyond, and this is what I do for most people. Uh, the most of the people that I sponsor, that I take care of, uh, I, I do it because I can. I do it because you know uh, you know in the industry you, you want to be known as a good person and be able to do these nice things it's obviously it's better for me for me it's better to give than to receive um, but to talk about more about Carlos I mean we to let you guys know he didn't mention it we allowed him in our house that's something that's sacred that, that my wife for the last couple of years has never really allowed anybody in our house because of the stuff that's happened to us you know and and, and lately you know I said come on we gotta you know be more open and, and more giving and look, this is what happens to us. Am I right? I mean, that's what yeah. you... Yeah, you try to trust people, you know? Like, the people that you work with and, and the people that you want to have a long-term relationship with and, and do the projects like he was saying, you know? But, I mean, it just comes to the point where... For some reason, it just seems like more people are doing it now, you know? Like, yeah. like everybody's turning out to be the same way. Well... Yeah, you're right. A lot of people do that, and yeah. we'll get to the the other people and maybe in other videos. But uh, here's here's if somebody wants to ask, you know, well, what did he do? What did you do? You know, people are gonna attack. You know, from what it looks like. I mean, mm -hmm. bottom line, we're the victims here, and they're gonna say, well, what did you what did you do to him? What did you say? Yeah. This is what I this is this is where it it, it sparked. Uh, a few weeks ago, I find out that my car. Uh, is it, it damaged, um, you know, logos placed where it shouldn't be, um, you know, being raced, 
and um, that's one of them. The, the other main one that I have the ma the biggest problem is I sponsor this guy for the whole year. I make him sign a contract, and he breaches the contract. How does he breach a contract? Let me tell you, I have plenty of proof. Um, he gets a spot in the magazine. Uh, you know, he has a list of all the sponsors, and I'll show you guys on the comments. I'm going to show you guys. All the sponsors are listed, you know, all the, the you know, the supercharged suspension, everybody's listed except the main sponsor that built the car. Remember this, like, we built the car, we, we painted it, we installed the supercharger, suspension, uh, we did the uh, interior, we did the, you know, full car, a bunch of carbon pieces. I mean, we did 90% of the job. Mm -hmm. You would think that we would be the, the top you know, sponsor, right? Yeah. Well, no. He, this guy's been putting out this car, like if he built it, like if he if, he, if he's actually put hands on it. This guy doesn't do anything. This guy, I find out, you know, and that he he doesn't do anything. He he just has his people. This this is what he uses. He uses project cars. He gets all these guys. He promises them all these products, and at his house, he thinks he builds cars. You know, building a car is not. Um, you know slapping parts together building a car I, I'll tell you what a builder is he, this guy thinks he's a builder but he's not a builder builder is this a builder I'm gonna describe to you what a builder or oh, uh, what I do I am a builder I paint you know I can do body work uh, I can do metal work uh, you know I weld I do I can do um, you know your suspension exhaust name it airbag suspension superchargers motors I have done it all. I have uh, done a car, complete car, by myself and took it to SEMA. When I mean by myself, that means nobody helped me take off not even a single bolt. I accomplished that goal back in 2010 and I can show proof of everything. Nobody's ever helped me on this car. That's what a builder is. Not these people that think they can slap these, these, these body kits and that's not a builder. That's never been a builder. That is not a builder. Mm -hmm. So, to get back to the, you know what the problem here is, is that we 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 caught him breaching the contract. I demanded my car. I said I uh, I sent him a message. I want my car now. I want my car now. And, and I demanded it twice. The first time I told him I want a certain time. The second time I told him if you don't have it by this date, I'm uh, I'm gonna report the car stolen. You know, and I contact his his uh, his partner, which is. Uh, they go by Molina Marts Motorsports. They have this this little shop in El Paso, um, and I can show you the message that I got from his partner. He's saying, just because he doesn't feel like it, he doesn't want to send your car. Now you tell me, like, is that something that you do when somebody helps you out this much? You know, I he already knew his ties were cut. He he knew what what the situation was, you know, but then he wants to. Do what most, uh, um, you know, uh, I'm going to give you guys an example of what most rapists do. They want to blame the victim. They want to say, well, you wore that dress, so that made me rape you. You know, this is what happened. He's blaming, and I want you to hear from him. L listen to what his excuse is, okay, for me getting upset. I'm get, I'm telling you what. why well, I'm getting upset. My Camaro was damaged, and I'm going to walk around the car right now. My car was damaged. My car was raced without my uh, authorization. You're talking about a, t a 2010 Camaro. It had 17,000 miles, a little over 17,000 miles. Um, SEMA car, full Hot Wheels. I've never raced this car, and I'm gonna prove to you. I got tires. If you can look behind me, look, look behind me. There's my Forgiato wheels, 22 inch wheels, brand new Pirelli tires, and I'll show you to you. You know, this is one of the tires that was damaged, and I'm going to show you around what, what the damage is on the car. Um, it, it's incredible. You know? And not only that, okay, people in El Paso have been telling me that he's been telling people that he manufactures carbon fiber. This guy has probably never seen raw carbon fiber in his life, okay? He has never done it. He will never be able to do it, okay? And on top of that, we I send people to his shop to check on my car. You know, they see the car at the shop. And and this is a girl actually I don't know I'm gonna find out who this girl is because one of my friends sent her to, to see how the uh, status is on my car and he tells him that he painted it he he did the car he did the Hot Wheels car 
And you can you can you imagine that? Instead of him, his job was to promote my brand, my line of, of products. But he was doing it for himself. And that's what that's what a lot of people have been telling me lately, you know, that you know, that's why I want everybody to comment. I want everybody to bring everybody on board. You know, this I don't want you guys uh, you know to talk to, to, to make up stories I want you guys to tell me what happened what what you guys went through uh, what he, he has done because this 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 needs to end you know this has to be the end of this guy this is not cool and even on top of this here this is this is what happened this was crazy he never calls me to tell me hey your car's on your way oh hey your car is damaged I damaged your car hey I raced your car not one message by nobody. Not even, hey, uh, your car's on the way. I had to be on top of his um, his partner, Ricky Martz, um, on top of him to tell me when, when he's going to send my car. Can you believe that? Not one message saying, hey, I damaged your car, I raced your car, and your car's on your way. And even above that, look what he did at the last minute, okay? He puts the car on the transport, Okay? And it's COP. If you guys don't know what COP is, cash on pickup. They charge you when they load up the car. He made them load the car up and made it seem like me or you know, us and him were the same company. He says, no, no, they'll, they'll pay it at the other end. Mm -hmm. They'll take care of it, right? On top of that, he said he was the owner of the car. And on top of that, he says he's the owner of the car. You know? Like... You know, excuse my language, and I think I kind of—I'm not that type of person. But this guy's a piece of shit. You, you know, you know. On top of that, he—I had to pay for the transport. Think about it. He dashed my car. You know, I have a spare. I have a tire. I have a rim and tire that who knows what car it's from. And I'll show you how the car looks. He destroyed my car. When I mean, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna walk around the car. But when I had to pay, um, you know, the the, the shipping on it. It's like a slap in the face after he took my car and I have to pay it to bring it back, you know? It's, it's crazy, you know? And we have documentation from the transport company. Everything that I say, I have proof for, you know? And I don't want anybody, I wouldn't want to, you know, wish any bad uh, comments on anybody that's not true. Like, everything that I tell you is 100% true. Um, this is just going to get worse for him because I have... Um, so many people that have come out of the woodwork, uh, you know, uh, companies, you know, that this guy's been selling parts on Craigslist. Uh, I, I mean, you can't imagine. I, we have a serious type of cancer that we need to get rid of. You know, we we really need to get rid of this guy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else you got to say? I mean, in the beginning, you know, when we started working with him. It's funny how a lot of people, you know, they, they try to warn you, you know, mentions here and there, you know, but you always try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, you know, you working with him, you know, he, I guess, I'm guessing, I mean, I'm going to say you were nice enough to trust them, even though people were saying negative things about him, you know, and we really thought, you know, I mean, I didn't really know what the whole project cars was, you know, little by little, I started kind of learning what he was doing, which didn't seem like much, but Oh well, you know, if he had some type of marketing skills or whatever, you know, okay, let's let's have this guy prove what he can do. But I mean, we just he just proved that that he's really I mean really a nobody, you know, they really have nothing going for themselves. There's really no real business behind it. You know, it's just people trying to take advantage of sponsors, of free product, of you know, what else, you know, everything, you know? Anything they can get, they're they'll they're willing to do whatever they can to get it, you know. Yeah, it's 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 nuts, you know, and, and you know, speaking about his marketing skills. Yeah. I mean, he got he has great marketing skills. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys the car. Enough about talking shit, you know. But you know, I'm gonna show you guys the car. Rubbing there. Chipping, rubbing, crack, 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 crack. That's good. Right there. We have spray paint underneath the front, which you see mine does. 
just scrape them yeah. on yeah. around mm -hmm. the front. On the, you can lift it up so you can get underneath it, okay? Yeah. Okay. So what was he saying? Basically, y'all was working something out, and some other dude that did all the carbon fiber was trying to work with you, and then y'all got into a major argument, and if you threatened to come in to wherever he was at and send people at him, if you want to take it to court, I'll testify. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? He said I was going to send somebody? Yeah, he was going really? to send somebody wow. to get him. Keep in mind, dude, they, they never told us, like, the wheel, you know, they... Yeah, they know, changed I mean, it. Look at this. I mean, this is not the way... No. I and mean, um, you can tell it's a, it's a show car, you know? It's a beautiful vehicle, man. Yeah. That was the crack on the one on the side fender. Yeah. They just splintered yeah. more and more as we drove. So I like, I documented because I was like, I know how expensive this oh, is. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but I for know. them to, you know, they haven't even told me that it needs a tire. They did? Just keep in mind that, dude. They still have not told me that they need the tire. Yeah, that's the first thing. I don't even know what well, whose wheel this is. He's like, oh, I put, I had to put a spare on it. The tire is in the back of it. I was like, okay. But when I walked around, you got a crack yeah. here. Well, yeah, that causes, you know, mm -hmm. that causes when they when you when you get flat, you know. Shipping here. Yeah. Like, they they didn't they didn't he didn't care when he brought it to me. He didn't care about it. Like he was just, really? just like you low profile. Yeah. So when you go over curves, you got to go sideways. You yeah. Gotta go, boom. Upset. Yeah, it's all cracked. Man. That's the one I showed you right yeah. there. Then underneath, right here. Yeah, it's all cracked. Oh, the fender's cracked. Yeah, trust me, we didn't give him the car like that, you know? Yeah, I know. This car has, you know, gone outside of the country. And I can understand more if you thought I would want to get permission. Yeah, that actually cost a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got permission yesterday. Yeah, the decal. Yeah, so you be cracking that. Look, crack it there, look. Like. Mm. Right, right there. Yeah, it's cracking right there already, look. Like. And then he didn't want to pay me because you know it was COP. He was supposed to, he was supposed to pay the shipping. Yeah. I'm not paying that. You want to pay on delivery. I was like, Why? I said it's COP. I said it's five hundred dollars COP. I'm supposed to pick it up on yeah. pickup. No, I'm not paying. Well, what did he say? What did he? They, they, he called the broker, and the broker was supposed to call you guys, and now I was supposed to pick up the five hundred for you. Uh huh. Oh, we'll pay it. Yeah, you know? I know, but that's that wasn't the. But he, I'll he show had... it to you in the in the in yeah. the in the. Uh... <laughs> but he acted like. Uh... Yeah, he acted like he didn't want nothing to do with you whatsoever. He wanted rid of this vehicle. He said, "Get this piece of shit off my property." Oh really? Excuse my language. Yeah. So it was five hundred. See your yeah. cash on pickup. I'm not paying. It's funny he calls it a piece of shit, but it's better than anything he's ever built. Anything he had on that lot. He had an old, what was it, an old uh, Firebird up there? And I was like, are you restoring that? Nah, I'm not whenever I get around to it. I'm like, it's rusted out. Yeah. You can't do anything. Like, so you're going to, it's rusted out, so you're going to bond it. You're going to take it away from the body because it's not, a, it's not original anymore. Yeah. I can go get a, a Fiat. <laughs> It'll be more, more viable than that. Yeah, it's, uh... And then we'll see how many miles it has right now. And... They probably rode it. I already know the exact miles to it. It has 17,785 when I gave it to him. Oh, it's about 18 now. <laughs> you can load it now if you want. Yeah, you know, just to keep, like, just to keep you in mind, like, this car has never, ever been raced. We got this car, these tires from, uh, from uh, Pirelli uh, when they went to SEMA. I mean, if you look at them, look, you can tell how much how much thread they have. Look, mm -hmm. I mean, it's got. You know what I mean? Yep. You can tell by the front tires too; they're brand new. You know what, the, uh, 
just a... They try to buff it or something there. Yeah. It's like not shiny anymore, huh? I'll roll here. No damage on the transit delivery. Plus no knowledge is the damage to be Everybody and their mama stopped and took pictures of yeah. on the road. Oh, really? Yeah. This guy cracked her here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say, you know, like. These guys were a joke, man, I will say that. How would you describe the guy? Part of my language is an asshole. Really? Straight <laughs> up. Like, just smug and I know everything and I'm the best and I'm like. Get your shot, man. If you were the best, you wouldn't be in this location. Yeah. You know? I've, I've never been there, so. It's in the hood. Oh, really? I had so many crackheads and prostitutes knocking on my door <laughs> while I was trying to sleep. I was, like, I was like, look, I don't, I, I, I said, I just look like this. I'm actually doing pretty well in life, you know? I don't need to. <laughs> so I just look like this. They, they just, if you didn't know, they just opened that shop. <laughs> I've been in this business long enough to know it's success when I see it, and that ain't it. <laughs> But did you, did you meet Carlos or you, did you, meet, you met Ricky, right? He was Ricky, yeah. Ricky, yeah. He, was trying to, he was trying to be all nice to me, man. I bet so. He knows that he's about to pay out a lot of freaking money. Oh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let this go, trust me. I wouldn't. You're looking at about at least eight grand worth of damage. And leave oh, at the, the very... Over a long, like, what, 32? Oh, at the very least, man. We're talking over 10 grand. At least they put cardboard on the seats, you know? <laughs> At least they, they didn't tell me they damaged it, you know? They didn't tell me they, uh, but they sure did put cardboard on it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can tell it's, you know, it's been flat, you know? See oh, the, yeah. The mark, they had it flat. And then the rim is all scratched. Yeah. It's all scratchy because of. But they didn't tell me that. Two on this, right? Yeah. The one with the uh, it's kind of tall. 
kind of bald or whatever, has a little goatee. But that was when he had blue eyes, he's Hispanic, um, wear a ball cap all the time. Okay, that's Ricky, I think. Yeah, he's next to Citizen. But the other guy said he was, it was pretty much the same company? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's why they, he got away with uh, not paying it right there, right? Yeah, I think so. Because Frank was the uh, broker, and then uh, Ricky was the owner, and then you're the third party. Well, you're the primary party. It's <laughs> your vehicle. Yeah. They, they acted all this time like they were the uh, yeah. they were all the same, right? Yeah. That's kind of shady. And he man. said something about the guy that does all the carbon fiber for, uh, I guess that's you. Uh -huh. He does all the carbon fiber. There's another guy that you're in, that you're in partnership with. He was talking about Charles' relationship. He was trying to come in as a mediator and help out work for both parties or whatever. And then you turned on him. I turned on him. Yeah. So the other guy was the carbon fiber guy. Yeah. And I was... That's crazy because I'm the carbon fiber guy. I'm the one that does everything. You know? <laughs> they're, they're like, they're, you saw their shot, man. It's a joke, you know? How many miles is that? Okay, everybody, you guys saw how the car was. It's actually a lot worse in person. You got to see it in person. I'm probably not going to touch it, so I'm going to have a lot of people look at it in person. But even the car, the motor, you know, um, it's funny that he sends me, he did send me a message saying, hey, you got a flat tire. Like if it was something that was my fault. You can see, I'm going to get the phone. You can see, look, the thread on it. See the thread on the, on the wheel? This is how he left the wheel, okay? He just left it, put a piece of, at least he put a cardboard, I guess. Um, you know, he did send me a message saying, hey, the tire, you have a flat tire. And I'm like, what? It's brand new tires, right? Mm -hmm. Never raced a car. I don't think this car's ever been over 90 miles an hour, to be honest with you. We really baby this car. It's a Hot Wheels car. But, um, and on top of that, he says, hey, man, your, your supercharger belt. This is ripping. Hey, you're, uh, you have water in the motor, you know, uh, uh, water in the radiator. I'm like, what? Like, like, we've never had an issue with this car. We don't race it, we don't do anything. Well, that's when I find out, you know, after doing some research, is this, these guys were racing my car. You know, it's like, guys, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want you guys to think, you know, to feel sorry for me. I don't, I don't need that. You know, I don't need that. I, I have a total of 18 cars, so I, I don't need that. I don't need the, the sympathy or, or feel sorry for me. Something needs to be done. And I want you guys to comment. I, wa I want to hear from you guys. What what needs to be done? What what uh, Where do we go from here? How do we make this industry better? Because this industry doesn't need people like this. So we need to stand together now, whether it be, uh, you know, other companies that that are our competition or any other company, we need to stand together and get rid of this. This is cancer in our in our industry and we need to get rid of it. Let me know how you guys can help. You guys need to share the crap out of this video. Um, everybody needs to know. Everybody's gonna know because this is not the way you treat a sponsor. This is not the way you treat somebody that helps you, that, that, that believes in you, that gives you all this. I can guarantee you that I've, I've been the best sponsor he's ever had because of what I've done or what we have done um, we don't deserve this there's nothing that he can say that's going to justify him treating us this way and this is the reason why I did this video so for everybody that knows um, you know this Carlos Molina uh, knows who he deals with um, everybody needs to know everybody needs to share this and if he opens his mouth and if he writes something, I want everybody to tag it, to, to screenshot it. I'm asking everybody because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sue him both way, two ways. I'm going to sue him for breach of contract. And I'm going to sue him for the damages on my car. So both ways. And I'm going to keep everybody updated. I need, I need somebody to serve him. I'm here in San Diego. He's in El Paso. A lot of you guys know where he lives. I'm going to need somebody. 
to serve him. That's the first thing we're gonna do. We already talked to an attorney. Um, this is not gonna stay this way. We're not gonna we're we're, we're gonna teach this guy a lesson. Um, this has gone as far as in, in, unimaginable, right? I mean, yeah. uh, anything else you gotta say? No, I mean, well, we're we're so everybody. upset, you know. Yeah, of course, you know, like. So we'll wait for everybody to see what they have to say, you know. And I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of people come up, you know, came up and said, you know what, this is what happened to me, and he's done this to me. And so there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that after this, they're gonna open your their mouth and say exactly their experience with him, you know. Yeah. So there you have it. I know it's a little long video. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I gotta get back to work. I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm gonna, you know, after this little negative, um, you know, incident. <laughs> incident. I'm gonna show you guys 100 positives. That's still who I am. We're still growing. Um, this guy's not gonna stop us. Um, to be honest with you, he didn't really do nothing. Just to give you an idea of what his marketing skills, how can you have more than 5,000 posts and have less and have about 3,000 followers? You tell me if that's your mark that marketing skills. That's crazy, you know. And people have warned me about it, but hey, you know what? Please help. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Thanks. Take care, everybody. Bye. God bless.